Hey guys, welcome back to Moron Tech. In this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can share files on your Mac uh, onto your Windows machine. I actually had a large video on my uh, Mac and uh, I wanted to access that file on my Windows machine. Uh, so I searched a bit about it and I, I could hardly find any solution. And then I got one cool uh, solution that really works very well. and. With this approach you wouldn't need any kind of third body software or you don't need to connect any kind of cables to get rid of this problem so i thought it would be worth sharing with you guys so let's get started so the first thing you have to do is uh, click on the apple icon on the left corner and uh, choose system preferences and then you need to go to uh, sharing and under sharing you need to enable an option called file sharing so once you do that you need to choose a folder that you wanted to uh, share to other users before that you need to choose a user uh, who will be able to access the shared folder if you don't see a user over here uh, as you can see uh, uh, this is my default user but you can always create a new user by navigating to system preferences under users and groups so for now i'll use this default user and okay and done so the next thing that you need to do is you need to choose a folder and then uh, for this case for this video we'll choose a desktop folder and now you can see uh, so this desktop folder is accessible to these four users and I can change permission for each user I can define uh, what kind of permission they have so uh, for this user i'm gonna make it read and write so that means from a windows machine when i log in as this user i will have read and write permission to the desktop folder and don't forget to um, uh, and just keep this uh, url handy so that we'll, we'll use that url to access from the windows side and then the next thing you need to do is uh, you need to go back and uh, go into network under Wi-Fi you need to choose the advanced option and then uh, choose wins option over here so you need to choose the workgroup name uh, so this workgroup is uh, you can find this on your Windows machine the workgroup name is found on the Windows machine so to find the workgroup name uh, you need to you need to search a control panel and then by navigating to system and security under system and you should find your workgroup name here in about section and if you don't find it, you can uh, navigate to the advanced section of rename this PC and you should see the workgroup name there. So this is the workgroup name by default on most of the systems. So my machine's workgroup name is workgroup and then that's it. I hit apply and that's it. So we are done with the configuration on the Mac side. So now let us switch to our Windows machine. All right, so on your Windows machine, uh, you need to just launch your file explorer uh, and you need to right click on this PC and then you need to select add a network location, choose next and then uh, you need to just paste in the, the URL that you saw on your Mac. For some reason that URL doesn't work exactly the way it is, you need to uh, start with double slash and end with the folder name, then hit next. And then you need to enter the credentials of your machine. So these are the same credentials that you saw on your Mac. So I'll just enter my credentials and then choose next. And then finish and there you go. This is a folder on your Mac. So since we have read and write permission, you can just, you can just uh, do anything over here. You can just uh, drag and drop any files or so for this demo, let's try to copy this part one uh, video file onto my desktop. So I just drag this and uh, drop it onto my desktop. So now you can see the copy has already started. Let's keep an eye on my desktop on the left. In a moment, you should see the file copied onto my desktop. So that's all for this video, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed watching this. Hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.